Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. Still don't really know why the time thing is super bugged out, but hey, I get to do the things in the day. Does that mean that Sneasel might come out at night at the Ice Mountain? I will look that up later, but today, first things first, we are probably going to bring Scar out of the Pokemon box so that he can be a pseudo-HM slave that only comes out when we need water things, which does mean leaving somebody behind. I don't feel good about leaving Queen behind because she is really cementing herself as a part of the full team. So I think Merlin is the one that's going to be thrown. But first things first, we're going to take the item off. What item did we even give you? Give me that item. And by that I mean take. Oh yes, the amulet coin. Yeah, and everyone else has like decent things. I still don't know how the amulet coin really works. So I guess for now we're going to give Owl the amulet coin. Wait. Apricorn. So yes, after we do this in the Pokemon box, put Merlin away, take out Scar, teach Scar Whirlpool and Waterfall, what we're going to do is make it so that we can do a quick run to Kurt. And see, like, which one has the highest count. Guess what, Scar, you're getting a second chance, at least as an HM slave. Alright. Guys, zoom down to the HMs. First, Waterfall. Yes. Two, Scar, because we're not turning Suicune into a Machin slave. It's going to be Scar. First, get rid of Thrash. We don't need Thrash. Now we can go up waterfalls. Next, Whirlpool. Once again, to Scar. And we will get rid of... Uh, Leer, because we want, dam we want a nice spread of damage if we have to use Scar for battle. Alright. Next thing's next. Let us see what Apricorns... Well, Really, I should just pour a bunch of things into my... Let's first see, is there anything interesting that Mother got me? Nope, we just put the Never Melt Ice. Then we have the Red Apricorn, which is one. We have pink, green, yellow, white. So we're gonna use Black Apricorns today. Well, first... Oh, bleh. Just take the full stack. There's no more room for items! God, I can't wait till they fix that. Okay, we're gonna throw the PP up into the item. Max Ether into the item. Smoke Ball into the item. No, not the revives. I actually might need them. Ice Heal into there. The full heals eliminates all status problems. That actually might be handy. Guard Spec, because uh, it's something too awesome to use. Full Restore. Yeah, kind of too awesome to reuse, and besides, I have Hyper Potions. Energy Root, it's bitter, so it lowers friendship. We didn't get an Eevee yet. Sadness. Keep Lemonade, keep the berries. Self-Restore for PP. I'll hardly ever use that. Mint, Self-Awakening for Sleep, might need that. Energy Powder, it's just a... It's a, it's a bitter water, I don't need you. Self-care for paralysis, well, no, throw the paralysis in there because it's not that big of a deal and there's not that many things that inflict it so far. Poison cure, that can stay. Hopefully I got all... Give... Give... Give me all my apricorns. Hopefully. Hopefully I can carry all my apricorns. Give... Give me my apricorns, PC. And then red apricorn. And that's all the apricorns in my hand now. 
And now we're going to go first gather up our apricorns so that we can have a nice count. Well, first is down from Ekratik. Should have some. And then they're just right to Ekratik, too. Remember this, Suicune. Oh, hey. Maybe we could also do the the waterfall right here, but I kind of want to do my apricorn thing first. Just four. Pink apricorn. Give me the apricorns so that I can go talk to Kurt. Kind of wish that I could just hand over all my apricorns to him at once and have... Just a nice set of apricorns ready to be used. But I guess that would be a little too powerful or whatever. But at the same time, not really. Because the system is kind of there due to the fact that you can... Now, just remember. Where is the other ones? I think they're just down from Ekratik as well. Yeah. I am remembering where the trees are. My memory is slightly less shit. That's not always nice. And now I can fly, grab the white one behind Kurt's house. Gib. Gib me my apricorns, my specialized. So the... I can't wait for me to be able to buy other interesting dilities. Ah, uh, Neon, I just finished your ball! Ah, uh, Lure Ball. For water Pokemon. Specifically water Pokemon on the diddly. I don't- I don't care about that. Let's see. I have four brack- <laughs> brack. Four black Apricorns. And that'll be till tomorrow. And now we will head back to Mount Mortar. And yep, it does seem that Sneasel only appears in the ice cave at night. Which sucks for me. Because my dearly dear is... <laughs> the, the time is broken. Guess it's just not in the cards. That is a downside to actual... <laughs> uh, but oh well. We are going to now go up a waterfall. Because there's a person up the waterfall. Wow, it's a huge waterfall. Wait, does the Pokemon that... That's kind of silly. Hmm. Guess that means that I could take Surf off of... Queen, and maybe give her something, but that's silly. Guess it makes sense, but it's still silly. I should be able to use the things. And now we will just teach Surf. Well, I guess it could just be that he'll be... I'm not going to get rid of Dragon's Rage, but that does mean losing Bite. Oh well. He's not going to be a super mainstay. Now hopefully he'll let me use it. No, I guess I'm going to move him up. Move him up and down. Or maybe. Can't just click, but maybe I can use it from in here. You surf. You specifically. Wow, it's a huge waterfall. So, you can't use Waterfall from just clicking A on the Waterfall. Or maybe something... Maybe it's because of me. And you still have terrible, terrible movesets. 
But let's see. Use Absorb. See how much damage it does. You'll get experience on your own today, Sunkern. Good for you. Then again, Rollout's gonna get stronger and stronger. Some, let's see how Mega Drain works. Rollout is a demon move. I forget, I forgot that that was a mechanic of Rollout. Mainly because, for some reason, Whitney's milk tank didn't y do it all that much. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. Okay, but now we have to use Waterfall from the context menu. Waterfall. Oh yeah, I forgot. She didn't give it to me. So maybe I went and got rid of Bite for no reason. I forgot that's a stupid. that's just such a stupid thing. <laughs> if you give me an HM, let me use the HM. I thought I could explore, but I cannot. Because all the gym leaders in this place are assholes. Wah, you beat me, but I don't want to accept that, so you go do another thing for me. And she has the nerve to call you a cheater if you have the item in your inventory already. Oh wait, and I get- at least I can put away my apricorns, I forgot to do that. But I can put away my apricorns now. But yeah, that's just a super silly thing. No, not Bill's PC, he doesn't take items unless Pokemon are attached. But yeah, I get that they want to do an interesting thing with the gyms, so they're not just go here, beat person, take badge. But it's kind of annoying to have to go do another thing, think like, and like delude yourself with dreams of waterfalls, only to then wake up and go, oh yeah, she's being a bitch. I hope Lance comes out and is just like, you are acting unsuitable for a dragon trainer, and throws her into a volcano. Happy thoughts. I beat your gym leader, but she's a bitch. You defeated Claire? That's amazing! I've never heard of her losing. Into anyone other than Lance. Ah, so she is a giant bitch. Wah, I lost. Hello, old man. If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. So the nightmare doesn't end. You, how dare you enter our enter uninvited? I was literally told to come here. I wouldn't want to come here elsewise, Darren. How dare you come here? I was told to come here. I have been thrown here against my will. I guess I could probably throw Scar out here. Why? Oh, of course, it's a critical hit because you're you're an asshole. Okay. Don't know why you do that. Because it's a bad move. That's also kind of weird. It activated twice. He shouldn't do that. It goes against common sense. Level up more, Sunkern. Level up more. Strong! Asshole! The shrine ahead is home to the master of our dragon user clan. You're not allowed to just go in. Fuck you. If I have to come here against my want, I am going to go wherever I please now. I didn't even want to be here. I was ordered to come here by the bitch lady. I shall go where I please now that I have been forced here. Was that you don't want me to be here? Too bad. Shut up. Die. 
jump into the pool, get eaten by dragons. You bitch. I literally have been invited, and by that I mean I've come here against my will. You shouldn't be in here. I was ordered to! The old man said to! You shouldn't be here! Where else am I supposed to go besides the place that the lady who is clearly flagrantly just ignoring gym rules. Everyone's missing. Come on. Screw you. It's a double turn. It should always hit. Especially when people are insulting me by saying, you shouldn't be here. That actually hits. That's extra stupid. Fuck off, game. Fuck off. Screw your bullshit right now. I wanted to go use Waterfall in a cave, and then you said no. So fuck you. Use Fly. Use something other than Twister, you whore. You'd be dead by now if the game was actually functional and hit my flies. Don't you know? It's 100% accuracy. I should know because I haven't looked. Finally! Oh, you got a critical hit, too. Either you... Either hit this or die. No mercy anymore. Only pain. Wait, I forgot. For some reason, I thought Sunkern was there. I looked at Hotspot. My brain went, yeah, that's, that's Hotspot. <laughs> Not even that. Yeah, screw it. Rock smash. It should be part rock. And... That's kind of weird. It didn't do much damage. How dare you. Quick attack. Lol. You missed. Come on. Why did I miss? It's using smoke screen. That's supposed to raise my accuracy with how shit of a move it is. Finally, a critical hit that works for me. And now we shall actually send out Sunkern, swap to Gyarados, and he can use Dragon Rage, because now this should maybe be Dragon type? I don't even know. We'll see. Potentially. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Be dragon type, you bitch. Nope, it's just normal. Why? Why, you bitch? very silly. I use... This is super silly. I'm gonna use Whirlpool. It's not very effective, but because it crit, it basically almost one-shots you. What? Why? Oh, yikes. I lost. You're a bitch, lady. You're a bitch. A big bosom... Baba. Also, the music in this place is terrible. 
Did the intern make it? I'll beat you all up. Oh, hey, Whirlpool, at least I can use that one. It's a stranger we don't know. And for this one time offer, I'm gonna throw you into a van and drive you off a cliff. Ah, it's a Dratini. He gives dog shit experience. Kill it. No headbutts for you, bitch. Why do you know Thunderwave? Why? And flamethrower. What even? So it's in the water. It knows... Oh, fuck off, paralyzed. Why? Oh, it's fully paralyzed. That should be a worthless thing. It shouldn't happen so often. It only ever happens to me. Whenever I paralyze my enemies, never worked. When my enemies paralyze me, oh, the game just wants to give it to them. And once again, a paralyze, that's worthless. Oh boy, another Dratini! Another terrible, terrible experience pull. I guess dragons can just learn everything. And now it's gonna... wait, aha! Yay! It went first, so that means it didn't be able to ice beam me. Yay! Why... Sometimes... That's the wrong one. I wanted to do Peck, and I clicked down twice. The game is obviously cheating in this regard. Actually use Peck this time. So it's just th randomly throwing out... Uh, Randomly throwing out attacks. Yeah, he's fully paralyzed. No, he isn't. Stop it, game. Paralyze should not activate so often. Any more than three times in a full playthrough is far too much. And why does Twister also have flinching? It can hit while you're flying. That should be its bonus. Oh, but it's such a niche case. Screw you. You don't get to have nice things. You're an NPC. You're code. Shut up. Such terrible experience. <laughs> Ouchies! Beat them to death. Right now. They deserve it. They do not deserve to see the light of day again. But we need to level up Sunkern. And let's see if I was just very unfortunate. Yep, I didn't have to teach Scar her waterfall. Darn. Hey, old man. People are being mean to me. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. And I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Friend. Oh, I understand. What helps you to win battles? I would say strategy. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anybody. Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? <laughs> Violence. Love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Neon, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. Are you going to bitch more? See, so how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. What? You passed? That can't be! I can't lose! You're lying! Even I haven't been approved! Claire! 
this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I understand. Bitch. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. At least this comes with the nice knowledge that I passed something that even you failed. And you probably failed because you're a bitch. Bitch. Rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack, and this child has. I'm the ultimate victor. You know, young Master Lance, he looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's in their blood. It's been quite some time since a trainer has gained our master's rare approval. In fact, none since Master Lance. Now that... That is nice. Wait! You want a rematch? I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. Ah, you mean that thing that every other gym leader gave me when they weren't being an asshole. This isn't an apology, this is expected. That contains dragon breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's that? What's the matter? Aren't you going to on to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Barktown, then surf east to the Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it everything you've got. Why did she be such a terrible person? Where well, I lost to somebody. I have to complain. Biggest lol. Kill the Magicka for its soul. Ah, it almost died. You are a terrible Magikarp. Kill! Kill the Magikarp! Mwahaha. <laughs> Apparently, the, the, this lake didn't like that. Why do you come out so often? You're even less worthy to kill than the last one. Be gone, Satan. Oh. Dragonfang. Guess give that to a dragon type and they do more damage. But I don't have a dragon type. I guess it's possible that a Dratini can randomly show up here. Maybe. But all I've run into is Magikarp, and they don't even become proper dragons. And they're not even worth killing. Be gone, Satan. Meh. Now, if only the move... I guess we can check out the move guy. He can remove HMs. And then I guess I could teach Gyarados Dragon Breath. But what if I want a Dragonite? Yeah, what if I want a Dragonite? Oh, I can come from here. Dragon Shrine. A shrine honoring the dragon Pokemon said to have lived in Dragon's Den. Okay, let's smack the tree. Nope, nothing. Then why are there trees here? Smack it. Okay. This is odd. What is this place? What is its purpose? Jerk. The shrine ahead is home to the master of our dragon clan. You're not allowed to just go in. But I am. That's why I did. Stupid bitch. Professor Elm, what have you to say? Hello, Neon! I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. 
I could fly there, but we're going to New Barktown anyway. But still, I thought that would be more of a dungeon. There's only like three people in there. Where do you even get your teenies in this game? Let's see. Where's the move guy? That should be the move guy. We're gonna talk to the move guy. Um, oh yes, I'm the move leader. I can make move Pokemon forget moves. Shall I make a Pokemon forget? Scar doesn't need to know Surf. Oh, make it forget Surf? That's a funny jingle. Done, your Pokemon forgot the move. And probably doesn't have a move to replace it. It would be nice if it got it back, but it probably doesn't. Move! Yep, it's empty now. Maybe he'll learn a move, maybe he won't. I don't really feel like using one of my TMs on him when he's just... Really? I guess I could just give him Surf again. But then what if he levels up and learns a move? I don't know. I mean, that would complete his whole deal, give him Surf, and make Queen forget Surf, but it's kind of nice to have a water move on the normal type, just in case. Hibbity hibbity. Okay, but first things first, we're gonna... Well, actually, we'll go down. We will go down. Route 45, all the way to New Barktown. Hey, a cave. Oh, this is probably a... shortcut to elsewhere. I'll check this out later. Knew it. Even though it's an elixir and that's not really that important, really. Be a cool Pokemon. Be a cool Pokemon that I might want. It's a ground type. Do I want a Dawn fan? Who would you replace? No, not that man. Because Hotspot isn't going anywhere, Queen isn't going anywhere, Suicune isn't going anywhere, Owl isn't going anywhere because he's... If I could have a better flying type, that would be nice. And Scar kind of isn't going anywhere that much because we need Whirlpool and waterfall ability. Ground doesn't really help all that much, but... If we can weaken him, we might catch him just to have him. Looks like I need to use Mega Drain. We can try catching Don Fan just to have it. Fine, we'll send out scars so that we can actually weaken it. My poor Sunkern is not going to get anywhere soon. Where is the experience share? Use waterfall. Darn it, killed it. But at least we know there are interesting high-level-ish Pokemon in here. So I guess the only other way to get here... What are you... What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? Don't be a dick. Like Claire. Trainer Ryan. All in all, I'd probably go for a Pidgeot at this point. I guess I'll send out Queen. I don't have anybody super effective against flying types. Headbutt.
Haha, uh -huh, you flinched. Tool for flinching. And now you are dead. He's about to use an Electabuzz. Also, don't really have anything for them. Because, yeah, not even Brock was decent against electric types. That's the that's the one downside of freaking eight gems. Because I don't I want I want to use I want to use Suicune. Hmm. Use growth. And now Mega Drain. Come on. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. Fuck the church. It's a scam. Because he needs to level up. Well, luckily, I'm not going to do that, headbutt. That's what you get. Can't wait for Sunkern to evolve and hopefully be useful. You've won my respect. Nah, that comes after I beat you to death. Graveler. Please go faster than it. Nice. Probably shouldn't have used Mega Drain. It's not even going to get that much help from it. Didn't even give that much experience. Gib. Ah, oh, just another graveler. Then again, why am I even trying to bother raising a sun kern? Because water types kind of cover what grass does. I guess I could bring... Mm. I really need to go over the Pokemon that I have. Do I even... Would a Graveler be decent? Would a Graveler be decent? What is, like, Rock and Ground even good for? Brock really wasn't that useful. Like, a Dawn fan, I guess, would be decent against Electric types. And that's really it. Don't know, don't know what Pokemon I want. This way, I might as well just bring Merlin back. Why? What is your battle strategy? It is foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately. I don't know, I don't even have that many Pokemon to choose from type-wise. Not even really sure what... Like, there's really nothing for me to do when it comes to typings right now. I have three... yeah, like, two water types. That's kind of why I want the legendary Pokemon to start appearing, so I can actually have <laughs> variety. Why is it super effective? Is it rock type? Do I even have anything? 
Not really. I guess sun turn, but... Yeah. Looks like it put on a hat. Just trying to think what Pokemon and what Pokemon types I would even want. This beyond the legendary Pokemon. I don't even know where I'd get some of them. Doesn't help that they're split by time. So I don't know where they are. I don't know what time they might show up. Blah blah blah. I just do not know. Another war turtle. Odd choice. <laughs> Hello there, loading personality. I'm currently pondering in basically how my team should be laid out. Because all things considered, my team is wonky. Wonky and odd. But I'm kind of wants to fly back up and go the other paths, but how far are we from finishing? This entire place <laughs> is one downhill jam. Fight me, I presume hiker. Yep. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. Why do you fight me? Because I'm here. Timothy sent out a diglet. And I sent out an owl. Fly, because he's a bird. And now your Diglett is dead, and I laugh, and I cry at the pitiful amount of experience a first <laughs> evolution Pokemon gives me. But now that he's leveled up, I shall send out Queen, so that Queen can use Surf and annihilate you. Still don't know why a Furt can learn Surf. It's kind of funny, don't know why. They just decided, we're gonna make this ferret surf. And there was much rejoicing. And then they neglected to be able to let it use Whirlpool or Waterfall. Losses, they're there too! You are amusing. Hello, Mom, what have you stolen bought for me today? Kinda funny that she doesn't even say, she's just like, I got a thing for you, but I won't tell you what it is. Now fight me. Oh, I'm really, really tough. For a moment I thought he wasn't going to fight me. But are you really that tough? You only have three Pokemon, Quintin. Hmm. I shall send out Hotspot. What? Why didn't it, why didn't it swap? Okay. He just got a he got a hit in. For a moment there, I was just like, wait, what? That's never happened before, I don't think. Do not believe so. They tried to look mean at my Pokemon. It failed. Its face muscles cramped. Who's your next Pokemon? A Primeape. I shall leave him out here. 
flame wheel. It's a fuzzy, spiky ball of anger. Set it on fire, make it more angry. Well, that's not gonna help you at all. <laughs> it's getting pumped for death, its own funeral. And finally, a Tauros. I think it's a ground type, so I shall send that queen. Yeah. Off the top of my head, a lot of Pokemon's typing eludes me. I'm just like, where do you get most of these? I haven't run into them. Ah, it's not ground type. Or maybe it is. Maybe it can use ground type moves. I guess. But it's primarily normal type. That's probably it. Type beams are weird in this game. In most Pokemon games, really. I was tough at the Battle Tower. How? None of your Pokemon would have made it in the Battle Tower. I know. I failed at the Battle Tower. Because the Battle Tower is mean. Oh boy, more Apricorns. Nope. So, Paralyze, Cure Berry, and Normal Berry. We really should visit Moo Moo. And I can't... <laughs> winding, winding, winding path. More than likely, this would take me back up to the one place. I was gonna do the thing. Probably use heals. Eliminate for the Pokemon, because they're being taken damage. So more than likely, this is a, either a single alcove cave, or it'll take me back up to the top so that he's like, oh, do you want to go again? Dark cave, so probably... So yeah, probably... A try again dealie. I can smash this rock. Guess we can wander around here a bit, but it seems kind of like a maze too. I don't like that. Don't very much like caves. Caves are evil. Full of Zubats. They say hello. Why, why is it a level of... You walk away from your fight with three level th 30 Pokemon. A level 2 Zubat comes into view and says, fight me. Why? Seriously, why? <laughs> I guess because you can go into the dark cave super early... But still, why? If you can go into the Dark Cave super early and it leads a place of high-level Pokémon and high-level trainers, why? Give it levels. Like, obviously, strength and stuff. Give it levels. So that you can actually explore this place without being annoyed. Oh, but that's the point of Repel, but I don't take Repel. Repel is useless to me. Yeah, this just seems to be the dark cave, which goes to that one place. A Geodude, I don't need you. Be gone, Geodude. Nobody likes you. More like Geodud. Moha. Some of the places this leads me is just like, why? <laughs> A jump from level 2 to level 23. Once again, why? I 
I guess that is kind of what I asked for. But still, this place is amusing and odd in all the ways. I do not care, Zubat. Go away. Yeah, just... It's the dark cave. With low-level Pokemon. Be gone, regenerating rock. You've broken the rock. Krabby is cool, but I already have so many freaking water types, I don't need you. I'm trying to think what types I do need. I don't even know. I guess electric type would be nice. But I don't know where to get electric types in this game. Except for Raikou. And he's not he's not available right now. Can't fight him. For whatever reason. I would like to know that. I would like the ability to catch Raikou and Inte. There are far too many twisty turning paths. I'm raising Pokemon too. Will you battle with me? I will murder you and your Pokemon and bury you in the ground. Your Pokemon will be easy to kill. I'm guessing they expected you to explore up the path that leads this way early on and then you just go, why was that super effective? Are fighting types weak to flying? Why? Obviously, you can't punch birds. I raise Pokemon too. Will you battle with me? I think the dimensions are folding around this Pokeball. Except she has two Pokemon and he has one. Obviously, the universe is sexist. Congratulations, you leveled up, Owl. You are slowly catching up. Trying to learn Takedown. We will get rid of Nightmare, I guess, because it's not useful. Talk down. Talk down to this next po another Ponyta. We don't have time for this. Scar, murder. Even then, would, it, would electric even be that useful? Electric is good against flying, water, flying, water, and probably something else that I'm forgetting. My memory is crap, along with my internet. I decided to die today. Because that's what <laughs> the internet does. It just decides, today I shall not function. Because the internet is silly, monstrous, and deserves no mercy. Oh, rats. And now this Pokeball is mine. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Aha. What will it be today? A level 15 far-fetched? A level 3 Geodude. Go back to the dark cave. Nobody loves you. Why are you out here anyway? No, you can't even... You can't even get there. Why does it end with level... Or, like, 16s? Different kinds appear here. I guess we'll talk to Professor Elm, since we're here. And then we'll fly and actually use Waterfall at Mount Mortar. 
can maybe explore well maybe it depends where's where's the silver feather what you want to talk about professor hi neon thanks to you my research is going great take this as my token of appreciation oddly I guess that'll be nice against one of the legendary dogs depending if the legendary dogs are actually running about the master ball is the best it's the ultimate ball It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognized Pokemon researchers. I think you can make much better use of it than I can. Neon, I'll call you if anything comes up. I will give... Ah, uh, that's still in Pokemon. I've beaten it so many times. Well, that's it. I guess I'll go fly to Mount Mortar. After... Like, well, yeah, fly to... We'll actually fly to Ecrotique, because you can't actually fly to Mount Mortar. And then while we're in Ecrotique, we'll swap out Sunkern for Merlin. Because he has some more application than just Grass-type. Because really, Grass is only good against Rock. And... Like, Rock and Water, but I already... So I can't... <laughs> water is my eternal nemesis. But... At least then, Psychic can deal with poison, and fighting, and... I guess sometimes ghosts, because they're part poison. Come back, Merlin. Trying to make an efficient team is difficult. And now we, we are at... Uh, well, heal my Pokémon. I'm, my, my brain is so much like, okay, we're gonna go do this and this and this and this and this that I lose where I am in physical space within the game, which is digital space. Digital physical space. I never want to use the metaverse. From Facebook. We rebranded ourselves! You're, you're still gonna be Facebook. You are forever Facebook. It's like the Walt Disney Company is just like, we are now Tom. Nobody's gonna care. Except that would be funny, and people would call them Tom just because it's funny. But now we can use Waterfall! Yay! I was here earlier because I forgot that even though I beat Claire, she didn't give me the freaking badge. I still knew in the back of my mind I need to go behind her gym and into that cave to do a thing. But I just, like, completely forgotten. <laughs> That's a silly way to go up a waterfall. Be gone, Goldeen. You're not really worth killing because, again, you're a first evolution. But I guess as we wander around up here, past the waterfall... I shall talk about some things that I want to do. I want to do uh, more Pokemon games, like a... I actually have a list of Pokemon games that I want to play. And I kind of in order. But at the same time... I want to get to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team sooner. Yo, Marcus! I am not Marcus. Would be funny if you named yourself Marcus, but that wouldn't actually change anything. Oh yeah, it's Hugh, the guy from earlier that was mentioned. But, as I was saying, I have a list of Pokemon games, Jesus Christ, that's a high level Pokemon, that I eventually want to get to. Like, uh, Colosseum, Gale of Darkness, and, uh... But, <laughs> and, but like, for whatever reason, I'm just like, I really, really want to get to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team sooner in the list because it's after Colosseum and after this and this and this. Fuck your critical hits, man. Uh, double fuck you. The, the AI cheated. The AI cheated and read my moves. That is fact. It cheated and therefore deserves to die. I didn't mean to send out Suicune, but we'll kill you of Suicune. You're kind of the same level. We'll use Revive on the dude, because he needs to come back. Frickin' crits. Why? Once again, I think I've had two decent crits in this entire game. 
all my crits have always been at like 25% health or lower for against the enemy. So it's just annoying when the enemy is like, turn one, crit! Let's try bubble beams, see if it helps. Sadly, that did do more damage, probably because of stab, but I don't know. More bubble beam, apparently. I'm not Marcus. Sorry, my mistake. Why would you even greet your friend with a Pokemon battle like that? Hi, Marcus. Die. Maybe that's the real secret. The secret story of Mount Mortar. The two nerds that want to kill each other. Oh boy, rare candy. I have half a mind to actually use it. What rare Pokemon are up here? I'm a choke. I will not subject my dude to pain and misery. I need to heal him, but I forgot that. For a moment, it was just like, he knows future sight? No, it's just foresight. Confusion. If he survives, we'll put him in a Pokeball. He did not survive. He, in fact, died. And we should heal the dude with a lemonade, because we don't want to use the berries. I really should go talk to Moo Moo, but I keep forgetting, because there's a lot of things to do. And I still want my experience share. Where's my experience share? Is it in Kanto? It's probably in Kanto. Not the Disney movie. Just Kanto. You're probably not worth really well. Let's see. Let's see how... Wait, I should look at what uh, takedown is. I keep forgetting that flying, fighting types are weak to flying for some reason. Again, you can't, you can't punch a bird. It is physically impossible to punch a bird. After all, Pokemon says it. I'm trying to explore and map out this place. Will you please die? No throwing for you, bitch. Really, you should have probably used the uh, seismic toss again, because now you're just gonna die. Unless you're super lucky. You were not lucky! Max Potion, an item I'm probably never going to use, because I'm just like, oh, Hyper Potion, I have that. I'll just use that instead. One step away from our step anniversary of being attacked, a Graveler. Do I even care? Again, I'm just trying to think, what kind of Pokemon would this be handy for? I guess we can level up Scar. A little bit. Because, like... Why? Oh, because he's part flying! Which is stupid. You know what? If you sub... You know, after this... This should kill, hopefully. Well, it shouldn't, because the world is mean. Huh, but it did. Yay. I keep for... Uh, I forgot for a moment. Oh, yeah. Scar is flying for some stupid reason. Tell me, game. Tell me. Can my Gyarados learn fly? Holy shit, he can. Why? Why can Gyarados... Does that... 
Does that mean that I want to get rid of Owl? Let me check their stats. <laughs> what? Why? How can he learn fly? 92, 61, 49, 74, and 62. Owl, what about you? What are your stats? Because all you are is normal flying. So you're very much lower on the stat side. So if I wanted to, I could just get rid of Owl. But that still means finding a Pokemon that I want to place Owl with. But okay, sure. Wait, I didn't have Fly selected. I didn't have Fly selected. I was actually wrong. Nope, he can't fly. I'm so sad. I was living in a dream world. In a world of majesty and wonder. And for some reason I thought Owl was here to kind of confirm my biases and be like, oh, Gyarados can fly, justifying its stupid type classification. Why is Gyarados flying type? Why is Gyarados flying type? It makes no sense. I would have been so happy. It would have been such a magical thing to have a flying Gyarados. And I could replace Owl. But when I went back to teach Gyarados flying, I looked and I saw, yay. I had selected Surf. And all my dreams were dashed. I don't need you, because Queen fills your role in more. You probably can't learn Surf. Because really, of all the things, Queen is probably the most, like, you just think, oh, this is the one you'd want to replace the most, because it's a normal type, but it still learns, like, it... It can learn different things, but she's pulling her weight. But at the same time, if I want to expand my type variety, she would be the one to go. But at the same same time, she also doesn't have any type... Again, unless it's like fighting or ghost. But even then, she can kind of cheese ghost types. Ever so slightly. She can cheese fights against ghost types, depending on the moves the ghost types know. I hate confusion moves. Confusion moves. It's like, confusion as an entire mechanic is kind of silly. Primarily because it never works in my favor, except against Suicune for some reason. That was like literally the only- okay, and then just decide bye-bye. It goes away. Yeah, sometimes I just don't understand the typings in this game. Why is Gyarados flying? It makes no sense! If it could learn fly, everything would be forgiven. Everything. But, you cannot. It cannot learn fly. Which also means that Gyarados would be kind of suboptimal anyway, because. He can't fight rock types. Because he's weak to flying. Or no, he's weak to rock. Rocks would just devastate him. You'd think that being part water type, it would negate it a little bit and bring it down. Oh, yeah, the typings make no sense in this game. So the steel electric type Pokemon Magnemite uh, is able to withstand su otherwise super effective stuff because it's part steel. But Gyarados, who's part flying, can't negate rock. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. It's just rude.
So yeah, even if I wanted to use Gyarados for the rest of the game, he would still be suboptimal compared to other Pokemon. Which is kind of funny. Because one of the types he's supposed to be strong against, the rock type, is able to smack him up. Well, let's see. We will swap him out a bit and... Really? Let's try and level up Hotspot some. TM40, what be this? Maybe dig? I would dig dig. TM40, Defense Curl. A move most Pokemon that I've run into learn naturally. Why? Why would I want this? Let's see how well Flame does against Rock at this stage in the game. Surprisingly decent. Works for me. Almost level up. An escape rope. I think this is the first escape rope I found since the one I used in the ruins of Alf for the the puzzle. That's kind of funny. Oh no, it's the confused Rayman. He causes confusion because he's a dick. Kill. Kill. Almost killed. The new was a critical hit, so it wasn't that good as that much as I thought. Critical hits really skew my my research. Now my Pokemon's has a hundred health. Booyah. This place is basically like uh shiny carrot on the stick, go get thing. The thing's over there, get it. This might be worth killing. Would a fighting type be resistant to fighting? I think it would uh, come out to just be normal. I think fighting types wouldn't resist a fighting type move because they, sure, they take a bunch of fighting type moves as is because they probably like to spar, but at the same time, Probably doesn't give them a, an immediate, like, a uh, super resistance. Give. Dragon Scale. That's probably for evolving a dragon Pokemon. Still annoyed at the fact. Also helps that Hotspot has the charcoal, so he does extra fire damage. Thank you, Charcoal. Another Geodude. <laughs> Funny how we've been running into less and less Gravelers and more and more Geodudes. Oh no. That's probably gonna kill. It didn't kill for some reason. Why do you know magnitude? Is the real question. I think if it hit magnitude 9, it would have killed. <laughs> for a moment, it's just like, do I wanna go down there? I have to jump off a ledge, and then I look, oh, there's water there. Get those grabby hands away. We shall swap out to Queen, the superior water type in all of this. Apparently.
part of me kind of wants to go back and get Toto Dial, true and original, do not steal. Maybe use them, but I don't know. I have all my anti weak to water right here of Queen. Apparently. That's freaking hilarious. But I don't have any anti-water. Which is why I want Raikou. If I could go exploring this place for five seconds. Ah, we came down a level, so now everything's weak and not worth killing. One of these things is probably going to kill my boy. Iron! Honestly, we should probably give that to Merlin. All things considered. Calcium. Up special stats. Since Merlin isn't the be-all, end-all, I'll honestly raise the special hotspot. Let's see, Dragon Fang. Powers up Dragon-type moves. Ah, Dragon-type moves, not just Dragon-types in general. A rare Dragon-type item. Beef up hotspot. He is gonna stay forever, no matter what, so... Be gone, Satan rat. Part of me is wondering if this actually leads anywhere. Freaking Zubat! Nobody wants you! You're only, like, decent to, like, evolve into Crobat, apparently. Ah! Still think it would be nice to have, like, a minimum step after encounter. At some point. A Max Revive. You can't buy these. But if you can't buy them, where do they come from? Especially because they are specifically a part of the Revive brand, which is kind of like up there with, like, potions and stuff. It just makes no sense. Gone, Geo Dud. Ah! Just like ten steps of immunity after running away would just be nice. Game, please. I want to make progress. Ridiculous stretches of no Pokemon fights in. The snow place. But not here. No, this is just more Mount Mortar. I think I've been there before. We passed that, going up Mount Mortar and through. I believe. So that's just a way to get out. Is there even a point to Mount Mortar going up the waterfall, aside from getting Machokes, running into one trainer? Maybe this guy. He's the secret of Mount Mortar. Merlin, come in. He looks like a fighting type. Annihilate him in his dreams. Hey! I am the Karate King! I train alone here in the dark. You, battle with me! Rawr! 
And now he's going to have level 40 Pokemon. Oh no, these guys absolutely annihilated me. No, level 34. Basically, kind of the same level as the stuff back in the fighting type gym. Hey, at least I have an escape rope, so if I want to leave, I can. Oh no. Not very effective. Still almost kills. I will change because can't do you. I guess Suicune's getting fight in here because can't do normal types because fighting types annihilate normal types. And psychics, apparently. Bubble beam. Critical hit, yay! Fire Punch on a Water Legendary. Why? Huzzah! Ah, I'm beaten! I'm crushed. My training is still not enough. But a loss is a loss, I admit it. As proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting Pokemon. I don't even really care. Also, that's stupid. That is honestly stupid. You don't have room for your Pokemon, of course, because you need to have Waterfall to get to this guy. You're not going to have an empty room at this point in the game! Just send it to the P.O. Box! Pokemon can be stupid sometimes. We will heal in Cherry Grove. Heal in Cherry Grove, and I think... We'll just go to the Pokemon League, because I don't really have much else to do. Here. Battle Tower, I guess, but the Battle Tower is bullshit. Also kind of annoyed that I haven't run into Raikou yet. Or Entei. I guess we could explore the Whirlpool Islands. Maybe get a bit more experience and stuff. To the Whirlpool Islands, I guess. Entrance. Where is Entrance? It's probably kind of a waste to try and do this because we don't have the feather to encounter the dude. Bye bye. Almost there. Huh. Haven't seen you before. Try and kill it. Okay. 
side beam. Go to this island. I just want to get to the island! Come on! At least you'll be good experience for my boy. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm also kind of reading up on, okay, where the hell are Intai and Raikou. Apparently they still function the same way, but I don't have a uh, diddly D. I could have sworn that you actually got a tracker for the legendary beasts, but I guess not in this game. Which is bullshit. Well, that's annoying. Flash. I just want to look around. Seal. A worthless Pokemon. Progress! Random battles, please! You don't have any Pokémon I want, especially out here in the Whirlpool Islands. An Ultra Ball! Yay! Something that I can buy! Ay ay ay! The encounter rate is too high! And the catch rate too frickin' low! We're gonna throw a bunch of Pokémon at you! In which you most likely won't be able to catch any of them! Waha! That's honestly what it feels like, dear god! Another Krabby. Krabby Patty. Sabim. thinks I kind of want to do some legendary dog hunting. Which is, I think will mostly be... I'll have to look up strategies on the fly. So... Apparently, a good way of doing it is just flying to Ecratique and then going down a lot and with Repel going. So that will be a thing that I'll probably do. Yeah, and honestly, I should probably try and leave this place as fast as possible to get to doing to that. But at the same time... Having a Pokemon that 
will stop him from escaping will be difficult. I guess I could try hypnosis. Or mean look. I could... Well, that would mean leveling up... That would mean leveling up Sherry. Which would be a pain, especially because... I don't have... The experience to share. In fact, I'm gonna look that up too. Because I want the XP share. <laughs> And knowing my dumbass, I probably missed it. Probably, probably, all things considered. So yeah, all the islands are interconnected, that's good to know. I have another escape rope. We'll fly, fly to Ecrotique. I could have had... Okay, that, that uh, makes things a bit easier. I can go give the red scale to Mr. Pokemon. Even though we've never had to go back to Mr. Pokemon in this entire game, the red scale, I think, did go into my inventory, so that makes sense. Watch a random in table appear. Okay, but the idea is... Get the experience share. Maybe grab... Sherry. And maybe try and power level Sherry somewhere. So that she can get mean look. Because all, of, like, the haunters and stuff have mean look, so... Get, get Sherry back. See if she can learn mean look to lock Entei and Reku from running away and begin grinding. Which does kind of mean some... Because, like, that's the one downside to the legendary dogs and streaming. Is, like, the legendary dogs are a big part of the game. But grinding will take forever. Hello, Mr. Pokemon. Hmm, that scale! What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare, I... I want it. Neon, would you care to trade it? I could offer this experience share I got from Professor Oak. Thank you, my dear sir. Life is a delightful, always new discoveries to be made. Alright, now I can actually start leveling things up. Okie doke. Since we don't really have a need for whirlpools and stuff just yet, I'll probably go to, well, actually, Blackthorn so we can do a bunch of things, get some repels, swap in, well, first we'll heal, swap in Sherry, and experience share some diddly -dees. Because the way that the legendary dogs work is they appear red, like they change locations and they don't appear on the map. They appear as random encounters. Uh, did we did we give Gyarados an item? Did we give Gyarados an item? We did not. Just wanted to make sure. But they appear randomly in basically any of the places. So yeah. We'll have to change box. Still don't know why you have to save while changing boxes. Is it because of something, like some kind of Pokemon duplication glitch? I could see that. Sherry, 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 Sherry. We'll take Sherry out. Change box back to two, so we don't have to deal with a full box. Put the experience share onto Sherry, and try to level Sherry up a bit, maybe. Actually... Yeah. 
I'm gonna quickly look. I'm gonna quickly look. Instead, it's like I'm just trying to think what's the best way to do it. Because I forgot the legendary dogs learn roar. So Sherry's mean look would be useless. So instead, we shall take Totodile True and Original back. If only for its. Diddly do, and we'll try and level it up some. Pack. Probably key items. Not a key item. I guess because they don't... Didn't want to program in the ability to give key items to Pokemon. So experience share. Shares battle XP points. Give to Totodile. We'll go buy some... Mart... Well, actually, giving it the Quick Claw would probably be better. Max Repels. We'll buy 25, since we have tons of money. But we'll see how handy it is quickly coming down here. Smacking up some Pokemon and some trainers we missed, maybe just to get a quick see of how effective the experience share is at this rate. Not that much, because from the looks of it, it would be able to handle most of the things here anyway, which is kind of funny. But it does mean that I don't have to swap Pokemon out anymore. Okie doke. My item box is full? Item storage space full. Well, guess we're gonna have to go back to anyway. Why is it so limited? And they upgraded it. Jesus Christ. I wonder how much of it is limitation and how much of it is just like, oh, they didn't expect it. Right. Max Elixir, put away. Dragon Fang, put away. Normal Elixir, put away. We'll go sell those. Dire Hit, never gonna use. X Speed, put away. Rare Candy, I guess I'll use it on Totodile after it levels up next time. Put away the Dragon Scale, no, keep the Max Revive. Mm hmm. now. Yes, yeah, which items? Why do you think I would be... Uh, why would I go to a Pokemon that's holding an item and say give item if I didn't want them to remove the item it was already holding? You stupid, stupid thing. Try and level up it a little bit. Steel flying. Might be neat to have. No, I wanted water gun. Me dumb. It's part steel type. That should work. Bad game. Very bad game. 
Oh, Dean effects. Will you okay? Come on. Work better. It might be nice to have a like it's a cool Pokemon, but I'm not sure it could replace Owl. It might just replace Owl. We'll catch it and take a look. Why did it wake up so fast? Sleep is a fuck off. <laughs> That's such a stupid thing. Oh, it just randomly woke up. Screw you, game. Keep it asleep. Probably should have bought more lemonades. Because we'll dep it'll depend. No swift. That's super cool. And agility. 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 And now, Hypnosis. Let's try and catch it, because depending on its stats, it might just be a nice thing to replace the boy with. Maybe I should have used the fastball, because it has a high speed. It gave it high speed. Nice. The feathers that it sheds are very sharp. It is said that people once used the feathers as swords. I shall not. Still annoyed that water didn't do anything against the steel flying type. That's a little annoying. You'd think, oh, steel. It should do bad against water. Then it just decided, no. It shall do good. Alright, but let's go take a look at Skarmory's stats. I mean, Owl will obviously have a head start on it. Because it's level 27. Yeah, steel flying. Why did water do nothing? 80, 30, 47, 44. And that's at level 27, as opposed to about seven levels higher. You're kind of all rounder. But I kind of want to level it up now. And I mean, if the flying part of steel flying didn't do anything against it when it came to water, Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. That would require more leveling. Let's deal with just leveling up our Hypnosis Toto Dial for now. True and original, do not steal. So that we can try and go capture... Raikou, and Intei. I think I was going in the middle of saying how they functioned, and then I just stopped. Basically, they actually have, like, an anti-cheese to them, where you can't just go between two places, because I think the way it functions is, after you transition three places, like, you go three route, like, through three routes, or three things, they change position, but if you just change between, like, the same ones again and again and again, they will actively just not spawn on you. Hmm, Gliger. But yeah, we want to level up Totodile to an original, so that it's at least a decent speed. Don't know why water... What typing are you that water is super effective? That doesn't make much sense. You don't look like anything. Well, the thing is, I don't know, like, how far to level it. 
because it will take a decent amount of time. Hmm. Because the main thing is, I don't want to find Raikou or Entei and then just have them run away immediately, as they are prone to do. Because one thing I could do, I guess, is have Suicune ready to go to try and smash them a bit, especially Raikou, or especially Entei. But I want to be able to hypnosis them and deal more damage. Which... Once again, wish that they don't have Roar, because that's basically just, we get to leave whenever. Which is why Hypnosis is preferable, even though it's not really reliable. Because, dear god, it just misses at random. Hypnosis on me happens all the time. Hypnosis on the enemy. Miss, miss, miss. Is that the only move you have against a water type? I still can't get over that Gyarados is flying, but it can't learn fly. What is the point of giving it the flying typing then? That is what I want to know. Why give it the flying typing if it can't learn fly? Oh yes, this is a fire type Pokemon. It can't learn flamethrower. Why? Oh yes, it's a water type Pokemon. Can't learn surf. Why? <laughs> I guess what we'll do, we'll level Totodile up to level 30 at least, and then use Rare Candy. Do I have Rare Candies in my computer? I'll take a look. Bump it up a bit artificially. And then maybe I'll do some grinding for my Pokemon off stream, like Skarmory and... Toto dial if okay, the thing what I'll do is level Toto Dial to level 30, and then use however many rare candies we have in computer or whatever, sell the nuggets, and then do a bit of looking for the legendary dogs. And then just hope. that Totodile is fast enough at level 30 plus rare candies, whatever levels the rare candies put them at, with Quick Claw to actually hypnosis the Pokemon. And then hope that we actually run into them and find them relatively quickly by just doing the go down from Ecritique, fly back to Ecritique strategy. Because it would be nice to have them Still don't know who I would really replace anybody with, but I would just I'd like to have them. Honestly, I might be tempted to remove Queen. Like, Queen could be removed. Merlin, I might make room for Raikou. Maybe. Because we would have room for three more Pokemon after the legendary dogs. Hotspot's not going anywhere. Owl slash Skarmory, depending on how grinding might go for Skarmory. Basically, the flying type that allows us to fly, because Gyarados is a failure. Gyarados would only be in the team for whenever we'd run into waterfalls and whirlpools. So 
honestly don't know. Obviously, Merlin and Scar would go first. <coughs> so it would be fly my flying bird for the fly HM. Queen, and then Hotspot, and then the legendary dogs. That would be the preliminary team with the legendary dogs. Then, depending if we can run into Ho-Oh and Lugia in Crystal, which I assume you can. In fact, I'm fairly certain that they said, oh, the rainbow bird Pokemon might return to Tin Tower. And we still need to find the silver feather to be able to do that. There's so many things. So many tiny, tiny things. leveling. A little bit more grinding. There's not much to talk about. Hmm, I guess I could talk about drawing more. I need to draw more. One thing that I want to do is, like, to up update the outros to be a bit more personal, but that also requires getting actually super decent and fast at drawing. <laughs> but definitely when I do my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough, I'm gonna do that eventually. Once again, thinking of bumping it up to doing it right after I complete Crystal. Maybe. Because Pokemon Blue Rescue Team is fantastic. One thing that uh, I kind of want to do is draw the team that I'm going to do for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, the me Pokemon and then the partner Pokemon. That would be more just like a nicer outro scream. And then maybe in future... Hmm, that also requires being like super good at art, but I need to get good at art. Yeah. Because art is difficult. Like if I had a decent schedule for streaming, one thing what I would do is, like, uh, in between streams, like, make my main three Pokemon and draw me as a trainer. That would be difficult. Lots of drawings. But at the same time, would be decent practice. But at the same same time, you have to wonder is if people would look at it and be like, oh, this is super cool, or if it, would they think it was cringe. But at the same, 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 same time, one could just say, yeah, screw them, and have fun anyway. So many options in the world of the internet. So many options. So many critical hits, all of a sudden, that aren't super important, but hey, we take those. At least until they're used against me, but they have been quite a bit throughout this entire journey, so I don't know. Critical hits have not been on my side in this game. Like I said, I don't really recall there being that many critical hits that actually helped me. Except for now, all of a sudden during the grinding section of the game. Specifically trying to just level up the Hypnosis Pokemon. I wonder if there are Pokemon that are immune to Roar. That would be interesting, but they probably don't exist in Generation 2. I also, I wonder if they've updated the, if they updated the freezing mechanic in Generation 2. In Generation 1, it was just busted. 
if a Pokemon got frozen, they were frozen forever until they got healed or hit by a, a fire attack. But at the same same time, Pokemon Generation 1's freezing had only like a 10% chance to happen. Gotta sell nuggets. Get them out of my inventory. Be gone. Bring up my inventory. We'll heal. Head back out. Get Totodile Show an original to level 30. And then begin grinding in honesty for the legendary dogs. Because I want the legendary dogs. I could have sworn that you got like actual notification icons of where they are. But maybe that was after you beat the league or something, I don't know. But you can run into them in this game at any time, apparently, after they wake up. So... Or at least, any time after you run into Suicune at the Tin Tower. But we are nearing the end. Just a few more encounters. Hopefully more Dawn fans. And we can level up Totodile to its true and final form. Or maybe just running into a bunch of Geodudes would be faster. Because it is just one, one hit. Critical hits, critical hits, but only for Toto Dial, apparently. True and original, do not steal. And now part of me wonders if I should have just kept Toto Dial with me forever. I forget exactly why. Oh yeah, I think it's because I got... No, I swapped Toto Dial out for Gyarados, I think. Maybe. My memory is shot. Absolutely shot and shattered. This is like the alleyway of weak to Totodile, true and original do not steal. And I find that hilarious. Except for Skarmory for some reason. Flying and steel. And apparently makes steel immune. Well, not immune, but no longer super affected by water, which doesn't make much sense. And then I just gotta pray. Pray that a level 31 to 2 Toto Dial can outspeed the legendary dogs at... with the quick claw. That's the... that's the thing. And just hope that they don't use Roar and run away turn one. That would be super mean. Almost there. You know the least satisfying thing to do would be like, level them up until there's like one experience away? Like, are you even worthy to kill? It would take a while to kill. Let's truly test this. Because it would take forever to beat up Skarmory with just Totodile shown original. Okay, water doesn't affect steel that well, I guess. Critical hit. Cool. Okay. Now to head back, look and see if we have any rare candies in the PC, grab those, use them on Toto Dial, and then go hunting for some legendary dogs that we can't track yet. More than likely because I just haven't talked to the right people, probably. More than likely, that's probably it. Me just not talking to the right people.
Did I miss it, or am I stupid? I could have sworn that I put a rare candy in here. I guess it just means I maybe I tossed it, or did I use it? I think I may have used it. I'm super dumb. Well, here's one rare candy for the Toto Dial. Well, now begins. Well, now begins the arduous part. <laughs> yeah, you thought going up and down that one place, specifically just to level up a Pokemon, was hard. Now we're gonna have to do it blind, hoping that the legendary dogs will pop up. Because from what the quick bits that I read while getting information seems to imply that Alright Max Repel Just wander around the routes a bit Let's See if we run in I'm not sure, like, how to properly activate them. Part of me wants to use the speed-up mechanic, since I'm using an emulator. In fact, I will. Propel's effect has worn off. So I'm not sure what the... What to expect from the legendary dogs in hunting them. How quickly they might show up. Max Rappel. Probably should have done it here. Yeah, that probably... Hopefully that didn't tick off the avoidance feature that pops up if you go between the same routes again and again. I'm very amateur at hunting legendary dogs. Hopefully, I'm not missing a huge, huge asterisk of, oh, because from what I read, you should be able to hunt the legendary dogs the moment that you run into Suicune. You should be able to begin running into them. You can either catch and or faint Suicune. Nope, nope, don't care. Be hilarious, headbutt it, and then a Raikou fi falls out. Because I just want the legendary dogs on my team. Because I could have sworn there was a thing that actually told you where the legendary dogs were. Or was that like a later game? No, Growlithe, I don't need you. So I just, I don't know. I do not know. I don't know how specifically the legendary dogs function. Like, encounter-wise. I know that they, like, oh, go randomly from place to place every, like, three times you move a screen.
So it's like, you don't know. And man, max repels do not repel that much. I mean, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. Part of me kind of wishes that... Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, again, I could have sworn there was a thing that actually told you, like, where they are in relation to you. Like, they would actually show up on your pokey tech map. Maybe that's another thing I need to talk to. After this repel wears off, I guess I'll go talk to... Mr. Pokemon, maybe. Maybe he'll give me a legendary dog tracker. Because I swear they didn't set up a oh, go talk to Mr. Pokemon that points through the story for things thing. But I might as well. And I'll use another repel. Because really the only things I'm using money on are heals. Yeah, basically just heals. Let's go talk to Mr. Pokemon. And then we run into one of the legendary dogs randomly. I take it. Let's see. Life is delightful. Always new discoveries to be made. Nope. Nothing new from Mr. Pokemon. Nope. <laughs> Why can't I flash the outdoors? You can't use that hearing. You can't tell me what to do. So yeah, just trying to find if the legendary dogs exist. Yes, walk by this trainer. They'll obviously show up here. It is the master strategy that no one's come up with before. Let me go, trees! I long for the grass! So yeah, it just seems to be, come on internet, be kind. This might not be primetime entertainment, but there's not much to fucking say. It is really just, use repels, and walk around. Or, walk around n playing the game normally, until the Pokemon is like a level 5 Magikarp in your first spot. The 
Africa. Speed it up slightly. Move on to the next place, maybe. I don't know. I'm currently reading a guide while I'm doing this to make sure that I'm not screwing things up. Because I really, really want to find them before Kanto. Maybe I just have a too low... That might be a thing. Maybe I just have a too low level Pokemon in my... So I'll put Suicune in front. Because the guide says that after you find them the first time, finding them again becomes super easy. Or a bit simpler. Ah, that's the thing. Apparently, you can check your Pokedex for the one you've seen and see if it's anywhere near you. Huh. And you just fly to the same place over and over again because fly does not activate the anti avoidance. grass. I wonder who came up with this idea. It is a pretty interesting Pokemon that are super rare, but they can actually appear anywhere at any time and aren't just sitting in a cave like Moltres. I long for it to appear. Legendary dog hunting is quite evil game. Again, it would be nice if you could actually track them like you could in my mind, in my dreams. It's all down to random luck. That they're just in the route that you're at. Gave me hope there for a second. I saw a text box pop up and I was just like, Is this it, Daddy? <laughs> Is it time for treats? And the world said no. No. None for you. Slowly but surely. Surely. We will discover them. I don't know when to exactly stop running around in a single place before trying again. Yeah, legendary doggy doggy cat thingies. Yeah, legendary doggies. I want to catch you. I just want to be a friend. I have Suicoon right here. I 
wonder if I should just, like... Pondering, pondering... ...of what to do. Because this is quite boring and not all that entertaining. Searching for legendary dogs, but it is a very important part of the game. So to do it off-stream just seems like, I don't know, wrong. The only way I could see doing it off-stream is actually still recording it to get my reaction and then playing that on stream. But it still doesn't seem the same. Especially because it would... But at the same, same time. They do run, so even if I can hypnotize them, put them to sleep, and wail on them a bit... No matter what I do, it'll take forever to actually get them. Which is a bit aggravating. Maybe if I bash the trees. It'd be hilarious. Was Inte in a tree? No, it was a pine cone. Hmm. Haven't seen one of you yet. And now that I've woken you up, I shall leave. Would have been funny. But the legendary dogs don't work on funny. They don't like funny. Does it tell me how many... Nope. They don't tell you how many repel steps you have left. The true feature that we all desire. Forgotten. There's just not much to do. Because I want the legendary dogs. Yeah, they would just be... I, they fall, they're one of the few legendaries that you can actually be like, Oh, you want to have them for when you fight the, le the, the Elite Four? Here, do it. I wonder what happens if you do, like, a... Repel and then, like, Sweet Scent. Probably nothing. But it would have been cool. If that's like an interesting way to bring the legendary dogs to you. But of course it wouldn't work. Wahaha. <laughs> Sadness. And again, I'm not sure how doing it this way affects their encounter rates. Like... When will they show up as I walk around? How many steps does it take in an area they're in for them to show up with a rappel on? Hitting the wall makes the sound stop, or kind of it injects something different from the monotony of the music. And for a moment made me think that it was there, but it was not. Hopefully this works. Because the alternative is basically doing it when Repel is off. And I don't like the idea of that. Just imagine walking around... ...getting into fights every five seconds and not a single one of them being the fight you want to be in. Guess I could do this. Make it slightly faster at draining my repel steps. They finally fixed the thing so you can listen to other music while riding your bicycle. You just have to go into the next area. Super nice. Hmm. 
Not sure for how much longer I'll try this. Because again, this feels like this should be a important stream thing. But at the same same time, it's so long to do. Once again, teasing me, I thought, oh. A text box. Does this mean magic? No. It just means your repel is worn off and you're closer to buying more. over here. How mad I must seem to these people. They look at me, driving around, appearing again, flying away, over and over again, longing for the legendary dogs. And Raikou, who is most definitely a cat, hamster thing. Legendary dog. No, it's a snubble. Ah. Then again, it probably wouldn't be do me much good to run into them with Suicune in front anyway. Well, then again, it would allow me to actually see where they are a little bit more. Apparently, you can check the Pokedex and be like, Is this Pokemon here? And it'll tell you yes or no. Seemingly. From the words I read on the internet, that seems to be what it is. And we trust the words on the internet because they're all that we have. In this mad, mad world. That longs for us to crumble and die. Fight me, legendary dogs, please. Suicune, serve me as worthy. Why not you? Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Just imagine trying to shiny hunt the legendary dogs. Those are the type of people that scare me. People who shiny hunt, evading legendaries. I wonder what the odds of that is, and how you go about it. Do you just reset upon running into a legendary dog that's not shiny or is there a specific thing that goes into it like when does the game decide that a legendary is shiny that's something I don't know when does the game decide that like singular Pokemon are shiny then again I think somebody ran into a shiny Latias, posted on Twitter, why does it look like that? And somebody's just like, it's a glitch, kill it and to fix it. And... Did. But I think that's in a later game where legendaries actually reappear at some point or something. Blah. Once again, text box bringing my hopes up, only to dash them. I forget if you have to do Kanto before you can do the Elite Four. Or what. I forget how things function. All I know is that Kanto exists as a kind of post-game. Or at the very least, it's late game. It's secondary game.
fight me. Fight me, please. Fight me. Fight me. Once again, I don't know how to efficiently do this. Wait, running out, repel. I want infinite repel. Infinite repel. For infinite hunting. And that's another thing. I don't know false swipe as a move. I don't have a false swipe Pokemon. And I don't know where to find a false swipe Pokemon, really. So this might just make it even worse. this rate, maybe I really should make it into... A... Record it. And then play it on stream, because it is a very tedious thing, this. But I want to do it on stream. I can... It kind of defeats the purpose to stream a game and just be like, okay, I'm gonna do this important but tedious part away. But at the same, same time, it is very tedious. And there's not really much to talk about because you kind of have to focus on and I'm kind of reading up on things in the background as well. But no, nothing. It's just use repels, walk around with a high enough level Pokemon, prepare to put them to sleep. Be prepared for them to use Roar. Kind of mean to give them Roar. Especially because they didn't give Suicune Roar in Crystal. Oh, it's not going to use Roar because it's going to actually stay there and fight you. The other two, they're going to still have Roar. At the very least, Crystal cuts down on how much specifically you have to pain in misery because you get one legendary dog for free ish. I could use one of the Master Balls. That's something I could do. Immediately run into the first one and use Master Ball. I think I might go until I run out of repels. And then what I'll do is do it off stream and record it. Because I think that would be fair. This is even worse than the time I went and tried to capture a bunch of unknowns. Give me the legendary. Give me. While well, we're wandering around. It says if you're nearby. Let's see. Area. So that's how you can do it. That's the thing. That's how it works. That's the thing that shows where it shows up. Younger me knew this. Older me did not. It shows up on the map when you actually run into them into there. Yeah. So I just need to run into them. Because if I do 
run into the possibility of doing it off stream, mainly after we run out of repels, then most likely what I'll do is I'll go look for a Farfetch in Elix. No, not Elix, but I'll go grab a Farfetch, teach it False Swipe, grind up my Pokemon to level 40, at least Totodile, true and original. While also looking for the legendary dogs all the while. Blah. You'd think running into them at like the towers and stuff would count, but no. In fact, let's look. Where is... Find it about, find it about... Ah, while we're here... Uh, Farfetch'd. Where are your areas? Only in that one place... Maybe it only shows places you've run into, but then it wouldn't work for the legendaries, blah blah blah. Does not seem to be. Ah, huh. does Dragonite just not exist in the Johto decks? Yeah, five more repels. Five more repels. that, I don't know. I'll we'll probably end the stream because I want those damn legendary dogs. And actually recording for them will actually be a pain as well. Maybe like every 30 minutes I'll have to stop. Maybe I'll actually set up my OBS to cut up video. If it's like longer than 30 minutes, I cut it into a 30 minute chunk. That way I can just easily delete the ones that I know have nothing in them. Yeah, legendary dogs. Yeah, legendary dogs. Only four more repels left. wonder how they expected people to find them through normal gameplay and not just repel searching. Because I've been playing for a decent length of time and apparently the moment they appear after the burned tower, they start at least should be able to show up. But I've yet to run into them. At least I hope I'm not so brain dead that I would run into a legendary encounter and then run away. Thinking it was like a bell sprout. No, I would have killed a bell sprout. Thinking it's like a poly 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 whirl, poly toad, poly wrath. I don't know. <laughs> Silly you, that wasn't a tentacool. That was Raikou. Now, now I want there to be, like, 
a weird Nuzlocke ROM hack where all random encounters are the legendary dogs and if you want to find a, and the goal is to like complete a region's decks but all of the normal Pokemon are basically turned into mini legendary beasts that would be funny that would be funny to me here, legendary dogs. I can't just turn to Suicune and be like, Hey, Suicune, where's your family? I have a hypnosis Pokemon that wants to meet yous. And there's only three repels left, going on two. Yeah, legendary dogs. Dear God. Has it been done? A part of me wonders if Twitch Plays Pokemon could ever catch a legendary dog. Maybe nowadays, since Twitch Plays Pokemon has kind of uh, shrunk a lot, apparently... Twitch Plays Pokemon, when it was down to 91 people, beat uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Not super duper, like, oh my god impressive, but still pretty impressive that people playing on stream delay with 91 people giving inputs to a RPG managed to beat it. But it was probably easier compared to the, like, what, 50,000 plus people playing Pokemon Red all those years ago. Like, a part of me almost wants to watch, like, Twitch Plays Pokemon VODs, but there's no real point to it. Twitch Plays Pokemon was mostly the experience of being there and then consuming the lore that people came up with. We didn't get the Jolteon we wanted, or the Vaporeon we wanted. So the Flareon is the Antichrist. I don't know. It's one of those things that you can't really recapture. It was a super cool thing, but it was only super cool in the moment. It's still cool, like, it's still a cool thing, looking back, but it's not really something you can... ...really recapture. You can't recapture watching Twitch Plays Pokemon for the first time. Live. You don't even- you don't really get much out of it watching VODs, watching it back, because it is just super inefficient play of a Pokemon game. With the gimmick being that tons and tons and tons of people are controlling this Game Boy game. And you can't really... Our last Max Repel. If we don't find a Legendary Dog this time, I think that will be it. Primarily just because I'm super stubborn and want Legendary Dogs for the rest of the game. And apparently, I also read because... You just wanted to know if you have all three legendary dogs in this game, it's what allows you to get Ho-Ho. Ho-Oh. Whereas in, like, Silver or Gold, there's a guy in Kanto who gives you either the Rainbow Wing or the Silver Wing. In this game, he specifically gives you... If I heard a thing, I wanted to take my headphones off so I could better listen. But in this game, he gives you the Silver Wing, and then capturing the three legendary dogs and talking to a certain person in Johto unlocks the ability to fight Ho-Oh. Super cool. So really, now this is becoming get the legendary dogs and Ho-Oh. That if I really wanted, I could probably chuck Owl and Skarmory into the box forever, and instead 
have Ho-Oh be my fly Pokemon. Because having a team of mostly legendaries, for me, as a person that hasn't played later Pokemons, and that's a wrap. Surprise! Last minute legendary dog encounter! Nope. It's a wild Abra! Didn't somebody want an Abra? If you come with me, right now, I will... I don't know. I don't even know. Pain and misery. But yep. I guess now what I'll do is... Uh, probably do some grinding with the Pokemons, bring them, at the very least, Totodile up to level 40. Off stream. Do looking around for more. Uh. And then I'll open the next stream. Well, that's gonna be a thing. Maybe depends how long it takes me to actually find them. Yeah, basically to depend how long it takes me to find them, but I shall go ahead and save. So, before I forget to. Overall, I'd say we did a decent amount. We went through the Dragon Cave. We w Actually, no, we didn't. Not really. It was mostly, hey, we can finally go places. They're kind of bumbling around a lot. But hey, that's Pokemon. Because we went and got the Master Ball. We finally got Claire's badge because she was done being a bitch. Extra hilarious that her entire plan was just, I can't lose, blah, 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 sends you through the Dragon Cave so that you can take a test from her uh, grandpa or so. And <laughs> you pass it and she just thought you would fail. And when you say that you won, she just outright says, like, you're lying. You're lying to me. I can't lose. Wah. Such a whiny gym leader. Even worse than Whitney. Whitney at least just needed time to calm down. But when you finally came back and she was calm, she gave the badge. Claire was just a bitch. And then we went about Mount Mortar a little bit. I think we went about it mostly. And... Uh, then we beat the Karate King in the Dark Cave, I think. Did we? Or was that Mount Mortar? It was one of them. I don't really care about the caves in these games. <laughs> ah, fear for the time that caves become an important road to go through in later games or some game. But yes. I might take a break from Pokemon Crystal while I grind it. And only return once I have both Raikou and Entei on the team. But I, I'll still, like, stream something else. Maybe I could stream Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. That's a thought. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe something else to, like, break up the Pokemon monotony. I could return to Kingdom Hearts, maybe. Mm. Thoughts for later. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I have been Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, you can hit me up at Neon Icy Wings uh, YouTube or Neon Icy Games YouTube for... Uh, I better explain the, what those channels are. Neon Icy Wings is for edited content that I do occasionally. Neon Icy Games is for the stream VOD. So if you miss a stream, you can watch the backlog there. If you want more from me elsewhere, you can hit me up on DeviantArt, Twitter, Twitch... Newgrounds and all the like Tumblr and stuff. So many social medias. I tried to have an Instagram, but then they're like, if you can give us your face. Facebook is weird. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye.